Senator, now we're going to go to Senator Risch because of the generosity of Senator Murkowski. Thank you, Senator Murkowski. Well, and thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I wanted to uh, come today to talk a little bit about a really uh, significant and serious problem that, uh, that the U.S. is facing, and I'm going to ask Mr. Light about it a little bit. But first of all, let me set the stage for this. Um, the world collectively relies on Russia for the nuclear fuel supply chain with one-third of conversion and half of the enrichment capacity coming out of Russia. This is for uh, uh, nuclear generating uh, elect uh, electric facilities. The U.S. receives about 20 percent of its enriched uranium from Russia, which is not currently sanctioned. Uh, we have almost no domestic uh, uranium processing with no operational conversion and only one active uh, enrichment uh, facilities. We cannot currently produce the necessary enriched uranium to supply the current nuclear fleet uh, that uh, we have and for research needs and obviously for national defense needs. Idaho, as most of you know, is the home of the Idaho National Lab, the birthplace and flagship uh, lab for nuclear energy in uh, America, indeed in the world, indeed in the universe. We, in 1951, we generated the first electricity there using nuclear energy. And since then, we've been on the, uh, the cutting edge of that. Right now, all of us are, are familiar with the fact of uh, what Russia has done, uh, this illegal war that it's uh, uh, pursuing against uh, Ukraine, and its uh, absolute lack of judgment in uh, uh, conducting its affairs in the world. Is, uh, is really remaking the face of Europe and the face of the world when it comes to supply chains in a lot of matters. Uh, when this war is over, it won't be over. Uh, the, uh, we, we, along with the 29 other countries, formed NATO to push back against Russia, and it kind of went to sleep as we went along over the decades, everybody thinking that when the Iron Curtain came down that, uh, that Russia was going to more or less behave itself and join the international players, maybe poison a few people once in a while, that's what they do, interfere in elections once in a while, that's what they do, but other countries do that too, and uh, uh, we started doing business with them, uh, as did uh, Europe, and Europe got tied into them even more than, than we did. Uh, uh, nobody believed that they'd start a, uh, a medieval war in the 21st century, but that's where we are. When this is over, uh, our, our relationship with Russia is not going to repair for a long, long time, nor is uh, obviously Ukraine or, or Europe. There's not going to be a reconciliation commission where we all get together. What these people did, what, what the Russians have done in, in Ukraine is barbaric, it's unforgivable, and it's going to be decades and decades before anybody uh, uh, that uh, is in the right mind does business with Russia again. So. That brings me to the problem that we have, and, uh, and that is that uh, we have this supply chain with the fuel coming out of Russia. Now, uh, the ranking member and chairman and I have uh, produced legislation that we're going to uh, get in and um, uh, try, to, try to resolve this problem to a degree, but this is a serious problem. So, Mr. Light, for, for your, your question, since you're in charge of international affairs at the Department of Energy, what would you do tomorrow if you got to the office and somebody handed you a pink slip that said, oh, the Russians called, and they're done. They're not giving us any more, uh, uh, any, any more supply. What, what plan do you have to respond to that, uh, that situation? Uh, can I just say, sir, that I, the way that you uh, put the sort of the that you articulated where we are with Russia and the problems going forward, I couldn't agree more a thousand percent. I think you're absolutely right. It's astonishing what's happened, and it, it this energy struggle will continue. It, it changes the world. It, it totally it, does, it, sir. And, and, and I, for the I, foreseeable... Having grown up in the Cold War, I can't believe we're here again, yeah, frankly. Here we are. So, but, but I won't take up your time with that. Um, if, if we have that pink slip, sir, then I hope we have your legislation in hand to already start the process to get out of that dependency. Um, we absolutely have to make strategic investments to strengthen our domestic supply chain so that we are not in this position. We never are in that position again. Um, our current reactors will need some time to wean off, but if it shut off, then we've got to be there. And I think that we are going to do everything we can to make sure with the current authority that we have already in the legislation that you've planned that we are in a position where we can respond to that. Secondly, we've got to look also at the technologies of the future. The, most amazing thing about Idaho today is it is these test beds on the on on the small modular reactors, which are just so encouraging and so fantastic and so uh, I think 
where we really definitely Th need those to are the future. Forward. There's no question about those it. are the future, and we need to make sure that the fuel for those SMRs. Again, we do not find ourselves in a position where the United States is not producing its own supply for that. So on helium as well, we've got to move forward and, make, and move towards nuclear fuel independence. Yeah, well, thank you, Mr. Light. And, I, and I, I'm sure you will agree with me, uh, as the ranking member and chairman and I uh, believe that this is not a partisan issue. This is an American issue, sure, sure. and it's an issue that uh, uh, is of uh, critical importance. And more importantly than that, uh, the, the issue, unfortunately, uh, does not lend itself well to the pace at which we move around here. And th this really needs uh, to move forward. So thank you for your thoughts in that regard. I hope you'll join us in, uh, in doing our best to uh, get this legislation passed. And thank you, Mr. Thank Chief. you, Senator.